Hi, I'm Pete Kutzer from the Orvis Fly Fishing Schools, and today I'm standing on a picnic table and I'm about to show you how to make a quick cast. <laughs> so when you're, uh, when you're going out saltwater fishing, okay, I've seen a lot of people hold on to that fly, and then they usually drop the fly in the water and start casting right away, and that usually takes up a lot of time. So there's a couple things we can do to get ourselves prepped when we're out on that boat, uh, be it freshwater fishing for pike or muskies or, or saltwater fishing up here in the northeast for striped bass, false albacore, or going down uh, fishing the tropics uh, for bonefish or permit or tarpon. You want to make sure that you're in a good ready position. So here's a couple things you want to do. The first thing is when you strip that line off, and you're stripping that line off and you're putting it on the deck like this, the line is actually stacking down on top of itself upside down. So if you tried to make a cast, if a fish showed up right away and you tried to make a cast, that line that's going out through these guys is actually coming from the bottom of that pile. So you can get yourself a pretty good tangle. So as soon as you strip that line out, what I like to do is put it underneath my pinky and then strip it back in. By stripping this in, now this stacks that line properly for me. So now, as soon as I start shooting line, it's the line right on top that's the first thing to come out. So it doesn't tangle up on those guides. When you're on that boat, you also want to make sure you're in that ready position by holding on to that fly. I like to grab that fly right by the tail and hold it in my fingers right here. And I like to have about a rod's length of fly line out past the tip. If you don't have any fly line out, it's very difficult to make that cast right away. You have to make a lot of false casts. So it's nice to have a little bit of line ready uh, when that fish shows up. When I start, I'm going to bring this rod back. And as I bring this rod back, I'm still holding on to the fly right here. I'm bringing it back, and then I like to bring my fly hand underneath my rod hand. Then when I flip it forward, I can let go of the fly, it rolls out of my hand, my hand's right here ready to go, I can grab that line, now I'm right here in a good position to start making that cast. So it kind of looks like this, holding on to that fly, right by the tail, I come back, roll it out, catch the line, now I can deliver that fly out to that fish, or I could start shooting line with an extra false cast. And this is one thing that's really going to help you uh, get that fly to that target a little bit sooner, and it's definitely going to help you catch more fish. So hold on to that fly. You got about a rod's length of fly line or a little bit more. Sometimes you can hold a little bit more. And if you want to hold a little more than a rod's length of fly line out, I like to grab right at the very end of the fly line. I usually put it underneath my middle finger holding that rod. As soon as a fish shows up, I'll drop that part of the line, still holding onto that fly, bring it back, let it go, catch the line. Now I can deliver that fly out to those fish. And then I can start fishing that fly. So this is a couple ways you can get yourself set up to cast a little bit quicker and to uh, get to those fish a little bit sooner when you're out on a boat.